I feel like I want to tap on the lens and be like, ding, ding, ding. Hi guys. <laughs> Last night was the first night in a very long time that I have not had a headache. I have been battling against this headache slash I mean I've never ever suffered from headaches okay and last night was the first night that I went to bed without is the word sans when it's like sin sin gas you know when you get like the fizzy water or not water sin gas sin headache sans gas whatever <laughs> I keep probably have no idea what I'm talking about but yeah I went to bed without a headache last night and I even jumped on stories and was like able to properly do content again which was really Oh, it felt good. I don't want to speak too soon, but I can't tell you what it was like. It was like these insane pressure headaches and I just hadn't really been myself. So waking up today felt a lot better and I did actually lie in a little bit longer because I woke up at 4.30 yesterday. Today I woke up at 7.30, so that was good. That was good. And on that note, um, I know I mentioned in my video that I wasn't going to do PR unboxings. People were like, no, and I was like, whoa, 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 that's not what I meant. But I'm, I'm still going to do PR unboxings. I just mean that maybe I won't do the ones where I don't know what they're from. Like we're, we're doing a little bit of a change up within the office at the moment. And we're just not allowing or trying to stop so much being sent to my PO box address. Um, this was something that we we previously allowed but we're, we're changing that and keeping PO box addresses just for you guys if you want to send like a card or a letter I love getting your letters some of you send like magazines and stuff like that that's kind of what it's for and not so much people sending their products because I would hate for anyone to send their brand or product to me expecting me to feature it I understand how expensive that is for new and emerging brands and that's kind of why so with that in mind, I have some PR to open with you. So I thought I'd kick this vlog off with some PR, starting with the one that I teased you with two weeks ago. <laughs> we have some Jimmy Choo. We actually have quite a lot of um, shoes. We've got three pairs of shoes to unbox in this video. All higher end shoes, might I add, but I, that is, generally my preference when it comes to shoes i don't really tend to go for um high street shoes because i've got quite sensitive feet so things need to fit nicely not saying that high street shoes don't but generally i find that paying a little bit more for my shoes that is not a rule but paying a little bit more for my shoes makes them a little bit more comfortable so things like todd's um, I always find Manolo Blahnik heels really, really like um, comfortable. Jimmy Choo heels, obviously. Valentino heels, really, really like easy to wear. So that's why. And these ones in particular are a personal favorite. I remember the first time I saw this brand, I was in Torino and I was like, oh my God, there's a brand there in the town center of Torino and it's from Northampton. And I was like, what? And then I realized that Churches had been bought by, um, I think it's the, the Prada group. So yeah, they were in Italy, which was bizarre. Um, but really cool. And obviously Northamptonshire is known for their like shoe trade. There's a lot of converted shoe factories and things like that that you can like buy and live in now. But there's still a lot of shoe brands that actually like originate from Northamptonshire, there's one like Jeffrey West. I know that Ali's dad really loves, and so does Ali actually, loves Jeffrey West shoes. And personally, I love them too. They're very nice. But I also love churches. So I thought I'd get into these. I've got some Jimmy Choo, I've got some churches, and I've also got an Intimissimi package, which I have carefully selected. So we're going to go through that as well. Let's get into the shoes first though. Um, I've got a lot to talk about today. I've got, I feel like I've got verbal diarrhea, and it feels wonderful. So... I wanted some more sliders and we had been waiting for these to come back into stock for a while. So these are a pair of white churches sliders. Let me just do the wide foot test. They are quite narrow, but no, those are absolutely fine. They fit perfectly, really nice. I just wanted to get a little bit of a collection of sliders and more smart and sophisticated sliders because I wear them a lot and I think they look really nice with dresses. Obviously, I wear a lot of linen dresses and it's just a nicer way 
to keep your feet open and cool in the summer, but still look smart. So I've got my Jambito Rossi ones as well. And I got these ones in the white. What are these called? I'll link them in the description box down below. These are the DD, which is so nice because my assistant is called D. <laughs> but yes, these are from churches and I got them in the white and I think I got them in another color as well. I'll show you them on. Oh no, we got them in the black. We got them in the black. So again, a little bit smarter, a little bit more coverage, a little bit safer on your feet, a little bit more secure. And I love the tan lining to it as well. They, the branding on these is just beautiful. Obviously I'm a customer of Church's first and foremost, much like I'm a customer of Jimmy Choo and also a customer of Intimiss Me. I'm just very lucky in the sense that they've sent me some bits, which is fabulous. I'll mark them clearly in the description box down below so you know which ones are what, but um, I've got my boots of these, which I love. So those are two different colorways of the DD sandals. Wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry guys. You were Can I show you what you were balancing on then? You were balancing on a tub of Palmer's cocoa butter and a Biteri hyaluronic loose powder. That's why that happened. Sorry. I'm going to put you straight back up there to play with fire yet again. Now, let's get into the Jimmy Choo bag. Again, I wanted some quite smart but summery shoes and I really liked the look of these and I do love me some sparkly shoes and I do love me some Jimmy Choo's. Jimmy Choo's make me very happy and I've spent the best part of the year wearing my Jimmy Choo slingbacks and when I saw these I thought, do you know what? These look comfortable and elegant and I loved this little, almost like leafy, that, ladies and gentlemen, is a bougie sprutling. <laughs> I will literally call anything a sprutling and I don't care. Like my jewel bag covered in sprutlings. So yeah, these are, these are um, just not too high in terms of the heel height. I think they look higher than they are, but just a really effortless pair of satin slingbacks that you can slide on in summer with a beautiful little dress and I think they'll look lovely. So I got those in the black satin because I don't really have a more satiny fish, fish, fish finish shoes. <laughs> so I'm gonna pop those back in the box as well. And then I've been waiting to get into this bag from Intimiss Me for ages. Obviously I work very closely with Intimiss Me and I very much love their, their products and I wear their products. I've got my Intimus Me bra on right now. This isn't sponsored or with them and even if it was, you would know that I, I speak only about the products that I really, really want to speak about and love and work with the brands that I want to work with. So this is a very big Intimus Me bag and basically I heard you all loud and clear. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. You guys wanted to know more about my lingerie solutions and my lingerie solutions have been something that I have accumulated over the years. So there'll be things that I have that won't be in here, but I wanted to help you with getting the foundations of a good lingerie solutions wardrobe, basically. So what I wanted to order was a good selection. Shut the front door. Oh my gosh, this, I think this is a wire-free strapless bra. If this is wire-free, this is the answer to my prayers because I have a strapless bra at the moment and I cannot tell you how much pain it puts, oh my gosh. And there's no padding. Oh, oh my goodness. This is honestly the answer to my prayers because I am, always in so much pain when I wear strapless bras because if you sit down it just it digs in I'm gonna review this because this is honestly incredible it feels like it's got some kind of rigidness to it but generally that is super soft I love how I'm more excited about the bra than the shoes obviously I'm not I love my shoes too but that's just 
I saw someone tweet the other day and they were like, I've been wearing an underwire bra since I was 13. You can wear a face mask. And I was like, I understand you. <laughs> um, okay, this is, so these are all gonna be like practical underwear options basically. I wanted to get more like skin tone stuff because especially in summer, that's what I generally tend to go for, more skin toned underwear and I like things to match and to be to look nice but not show up underneath my white dresses so this is a little more sort of structured triangle bra again I'm not huge on wearing wires or anything like that so this is just a little bit more structured it will hide any like nips nice so that's that um, I've got a couple of these to be honest because I wanted to just have a good selection of them So I got them in bulk basically uh, so that I can just fold them up put them in my underwear drawer and always have Practical underwear to, to hand. I'm still I just can't go over that That bra. I'm gonna have to get more of these. This is amazing <laughs> These are essentials and these look like really well fitting camis having these in winter is essential having these in summer is also essential like if anything's a little bit sheer or you want an extra layer i have so many of these little camis they are absolutely perfect for putting underneath white tops or um white jumpers just to give you a little bit extra so i wanted to get a few of those so i again ordered a couple Ooh, pajamas i also got the camis in white. So I've got a different style of cami but in white because these are always really good, I find, for putting underneath dresses if dresses are a little bit low cut for me. I know that some people are absolutely fine with going like really low. I don't know what it is about me. I just feel really uncomfortable with it. So camis under dresses when they're a little bit more low cut, I always find works really well for me. We have another practical and comfortable oh my gosh that's so soft bra this is their intimacy me natural bras it's not going to be the most flattering but you know that the comfort level of this is going to be unreal perfect for going under t-shirts or white dresses we have the matching little thongy thongs which are super soft Matching little briefs there. Ooh. And I also picked myself up a little white t-shirt. This looks so nicely fitted that I thought that this is such a good layering t-shirt to put under dresses. You know, if you want to wear them under like cami dresses and just add an extra layer, I wanted a quite nice tight fitting basic t-shirt. And I'll do that. What else have we got? More thongs. And one thing that I was really, really impressed with was the different sort of tone ranges that they had in their camis as well. So there's much darker tones because this is something that I've become more aware of recently in terms of the use that I have of the word nude, which nude is not one shade. And so that's something I'm moving away from, but it, it's kind of ingrained in me, so it, I, might, I may slip up with that one. Um, but I just was really impressed that they had different skin tone colors as well. And so I picked up a few different items from then. I got this slip dress, which I thought, again, perfect for going underneath white dresses because you're never going to see anything. It's more of like a um, soft jersey material. And so it's just gonna look like skin underneath the dress, which is exactly what you want. You can't really under like white linen dresses wear white slips because you can just see them. So that's why I always have these ones. And I want to do a little like mini TikTok video where I'm, I'm like, these are the most essential wardrobe essentials that you need in terms of like lingerie. Um, more thongs, more thongs. I definitely don't have enough nude thongs. So, mm -hmm. and I'll link all of the different items in the description box down below as well. And then thong wise, I wanted to get those like seam free ones as well. Again, absolute essentials. And these look great, really good. My underwear drawer has just been pimped. I'm very happy about this. What is this one? Ah, this is another slip dress that I picked up. So I wanted something that was white, 
um, that could go under anything that I need to wear that's slightly lower, but also need maybe a little bit of extra coverage. It's always good to have nude ones, black ones, and white ones of, the, of slips, to be honest, because you just never know what dresses are gonna need. Like I buy expensive dresses and they need slips. Like you've seen my Zimmerman dresses where I've had to put slips underneath them. This is a beautiful underwear set with a matching bra. I love this style from Intimacy as well. Cute little lace detailing around the trim and then more of like a blush ivory tone to the bra. Goodness me. Ooh! So this is something that I think that Ali will like. Ali really likes my silky pajamas and especially the cami and short set. And so I made sure to stock up on them because I'm actually, especially this time of year, I find myself reaching for more camis and little shorts. So when I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, this is so my color tone, my color palette. Love it. Love, love, love. And then of course, my new favorite colorway, sage green. So happy with these. These are their 100% natural silk pajamas as well. And they last so well, so, so well. Oh, got fresh pajamas and fresh sheets on my bed tonight. I am living my best with this. The shorts are so flattering. Like I don't, sometimes I can feel a little bit frumpy in pajamas, but these, I just feel, I feel cute. Very, very cute. And then I also picked up the same as the sage color, but in the blush tone as well. So we've got a good summer pajama selection going on from Intimacy. Me. And with the matching briefs. And then I went for this slip, a silk slip, which can obviously be worn as a nighty or Put under dresses as well that's one thing i really like about silk ones is they are sort of well any of them really you can wear as 90s but this little silky finish to it makes it a little bit more mm -hmm. for nighttime wear and i got the same thing but in the little cami version and short version because basically all i'm wearing at the moment when i go to bed because it's just that nice warmth at the moment so i'm comfy Comfy, comfy. These are the matching shorts for the cami. Another little nude slip. So this is what I'm saying when I say to you that I keep the slips under dresses, but if you don't want to have to buy a dress that has a slip just so that you have a slip, you can buy them individually from Intimacy Me. There's lots of places that do them, but I just, when I saw their range, they basically have a whole section for these kind of underwear solutions that I, I thought it would be good reference for you guys because I always get asked about these things. So I thought it might be a little bit helpful. Obviously, you can buy from wherever you fancy. I just, I like these ones. Oh, these are the cute little shorts. I mean, what is better than Italian lingerie? Not a lot, not a lot. And another nude little cami as well. So those are some little PR parcels that I have been receiving. I'm gonna try on some of the Intimacy Me stuff with you, I think, because I think it will be helpful for you to see it on. Obviously, not really the underwear. Maybe you need to see me in my underwear like multiple times, but some of the camis and maybe some of these bras, I def I'm gonna try this on with you because I am fascinated by this. Fascinated. This is the loot all laid out on my dressing table. I think I'm going to try a couple of these pairs on with you actually because they they just, they are just the dream. And I think I'm gonna have to try this on with you. I can't believe it, I just put it on my stories. It's like, yeah, I'm trying that on. This is my old underwire strapless bra by the way and this is rigid, like watch this. You cannot, you can't bend it. It is just horrendous. You knew I was gonna put on the sage green one, didn't you? I just had to try it on. It's too cute. And it's so nice and soft. It fits really nicely as well. Not too tight along the bust, but skims the waist so it's still super flattering. You've got the little, the little lacy bit underneath. 
cute. Okay, I had to do it, seeing as I've got some shorts on. I've popped it on. So it's still gonna be quite tight, like a normal strapless bra, because obviously it's got to stay up. But what I'm trying to do is get the feeling of it on my rib cage, because that was the one area that used to really hurt. But I think I'll need to sort of wear it for a day, but I really like the shape of it. It's, it is really flattering, and I love the fact that it's got no sort of padding to it. But this is one I'll have to sort of keep you updated on and let you know in the future, but I just wanted to show you it on anyway, with my little sage shorts. So I've popped on one of these bras and one of the camis as well. These are obviously camis that are meant to be worn as underwear because they are quite see-through, which is why I put the bra on underneath, but they fit so nicely. I actually can't believe how nicely they fit. So nice and tight, kind of like a second skin. I really like those. So this is the bra that I had on underneath because these are slightly more like padded. The, well, they're not padded. They've got more of a push up feel to them than the Emma bras. So they're still nice and soft, nice and comfortable. It's, it's sort of, if you want that triangle bra feel, but with a little bit more support and coverage of like your actual sort of boob and nipple area. Uh, super soft, super comfortable and really, really good color. This is like almost a perfect, match for my skin tone which is perfect so yeah i'll link that down below but what i've decided is i'm going to do a blog post because it's quite hard for me to try on all of these underwear bits with you so i'm going to do a blog post summarizing the best bits from their lingerie solutions section so that you know which ones i think are really really good but i'm not working with them on this this is actually an order that i wanted to place because i needed some more myself uh, the pajamas are obviously just a double win <laughs> I thought I'd try on this set as well. This sort of pink and ivory blushy tone two-piece set. I think this is a really cute little set. I love their camis and shorts, pajamas. They're probably one of my favorite things aside from their very, very comfortable bras and snuggly wear, but I thought I'd show you this one as well. I've got a couple more bits to show you. Don't worry, don't worry. This is one of the slip dresses that I got. Obviously, um, again, a really, really good skin color match for me and super comfortable. This is so nice and soft and it's not too tight either. So it'd be really easy to throw on under dresses and be confident that it's just gonna look like you've got a white dress on or a light colored dress on that's maybe a little bit more lightweight and not so heavy in fabric. That's the thing that I find is the most beautiful fabrics are usually the most sheer. So I always need something like this. And I think maybe that's why a lot of brands don't do slip dresses underneath because Everyone has such different uh, skin tones. Most people have their own that they would like to put on underneath, but I can understand when people are like, oh, you're paying all that money for a dress or wh whatever, and um, you don't get a slip with it, but I personally will always change it for one that suits my skin or my body or my comfort levels myself, basically, so yeah. I thought I'd try on all of the pajama sets, seeing as we're here. I have noticed though that this one has become a little bit unstitched, so I'm gonna have to sew that back on, but other than that, I love this one as well. Just such a really beautiful little pajama set that I'm comfortable in and cool in. And it's gonna be a set of pajamas that Ali doesn't look at and is like, ooh, because I do have some polka dot pajamas that Intimissimi sent me and he was like, not a fan of those, not a fan. This is the same cami that I tried on earlier, but in one of the darker colors um, that they do it in. A couple of their ranges do come in sort of varying tones of skin tones, which is helpful. I'd love to see more of this, but I just thought I'd show you this on for reference as well, just to show you that they do offer slightly different variations in um, skin tones. Very comfortable, very comfortable. I look like I'm dressed as a mime but this is just what I put on um, underneath when I put on like a jumper because I'm going for a walk later with Carrie and one of our friends, Paula. So um, I've changed out of my lovely little dress and into a manky old Primark vest and Primark leggings and I'll just stick a nice cozy jumper over the top and I'm gonna be taking my walking boots, which I'm not wearing for their first ever spin, but for the moment I have to sort out all of this stuff. Oh, just found another thong on the floor. I'm gonna give my underwear drawers a bit of a clear out and a reorganize into colors. So I'll have all of my nude underwear solutions together and blacks and whites as well. So it should be properly nicely organized in here. Celia will be proud. <laughs> I'm 
in the Range Rover and I am driving with Carrie to go for a dog walk and I look like a top knob because I thought we were going for like a long walk turns out we're just going for a dog walk and I've got all of my new gear on like a proper knob and Carrie has a dress on and I look like I'm going hiking in the wilderness but she says it's probably a good idea because it gives me an opportunity to break in my boots so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna break in my boots um, I finished up work obviously just having a chilled a chilled evening basically i think ali's gonna be cooking dinner and i'll probably be back in time for dinner but we're just gonna go see our friend and do a little walky walk in the wilderness and that's it basically Right, oh, <laughs> straight on to a roundabout. Um, we just did a 7k walk, which was lovely, and we caught up with our friend Paula. It was me, Carrie, and Paula, and it was blooming lovely. And now I am heading home to batch roast a lot of veg. I'm going to do some chard and some potatoes that um, I basically had the largest delivery of potatoes from the farmer's hamper and so I am going to batch cook those and get those frozen down for some dinners during the week I think. I did sadly see that people had been throwing their masks on the floor and I like Obviously, I am by no means the saviour of the universe, but please don't do that. If you're watching this video and you don't know not to throw your mask on the floor, just let me tell you that if I could teach you one lesson, it would be not to throw your mask on the floor. If you need to dispose of a disposable mask, do so in a bin. Thank you. But yeah, so I'm heading home now. That was much needed. I love exploring like the areas surrounding where I live and it's just so lovely catching up with people. But I can't be the only person that experiences this because obviously all of this lockdown stuff, my socializing is so much less than it used to be. And so now whenever I'm like in a social situation and I leave that social situation, my throat hurts. I get a really like sore throat, not because I've got coronavirus, because it's literally gone by the next day, but I definitely do experience much more soreness in my neck, not in my neck, in my throat, because I'm talking so much. Not that I don't talk a lot at home, but I think two hours of non-stop chatting and catching up, it does, it gives you a little bit of a sore throat. I also wanted to say that although I felt like I was an idiot, I was very glad that I wore my all the gear and no idea stuff good opportunity for me to test out the boots i didn't realize we were going to be going on 7k and um they haven't rubbed at all definitely a good thing that i went a size up there's a reason why i went a size up and that was because they told me to go a size up and it gave my feet the opportunity to swell and come under the strain of walking and actually i needed them we it, it was you know it wasn't i wasn't walking on the road i was definitely walking over fields and up little hills and things like that so yeah I felt great oh there's a badger on the road poor oh, little badger oh, God. literally at the moment I can't drive anywhere without seeing animals that have been killed on the road and it just oh, I can't cope I can't go I think to myself oh my god who would hit that that animal but I know that there are situations where you just you can't not hit them and it just makes me very sad poor little badgie Tomorrow is a very exciting day because it is Miss Lummy Bear's birthday. It's also today, 11 months since Lynx went missing, obviously. Oh. So something the roundabouts that we have nearly a year that it has been since Lynx went missing, but um, yeah, <laughs> Lummy's birthday tomorrow, she's gonna be six. Can you believe that my baby girl is gonna be six? Six years old. My little girl is six. It's growing up so fast. And she's still the grumpiest Bielma 
I've ever met. Grumpy and spoiled. But yeah, so I'm heading home now. Hopefully I'll have some dinner, have a bit of a chilled one. I really want to watch that Zac Efron show because I think it's going to be really good. I, I just, I've got, a, I've got a good feeling in my bones that it's going to be good, so yeah. Um, two or three, three, same as you. We are cooking up an absolute storm. I am batch roasting potatoes in the oven. I'm also making roasted chard for the first time. I've actually never had chard before. Sprayed it with a little bit of oil and some salt and pepper. Apparently it goes in for 10 minutes. This was sent from the farmer's hamper. And uh, I'm giving it a go. And then apparently we're supposed to do something with the leaves as well. So we're gonna do that afterwards. I've probably done this completely wrong, but we're learning, we're learning. Ali's about to go and get the barbecue on. Cheese and yogurt, Yes, please. Thank you. The dishwasher is on and I've done the dishes. I've cleaned all of the kitchen. I'm now gonna light some incense and Ali and I have decided that we are going to watch a documentary. Yes, I've got a plaster on my cheek because that spot is just not healing, so I am helping it. Um, but we're gonna watch a documentary. I can't remember what it's called. I'll let you know when I'm in bed. I feel like I'll relax when I'm in bed. Got some Amazon parcels that I will open with you. And also I wanted to show you this. This is from one of the members of my team. They got me some cottage gardening books for me for my little kitchen garden that I'm working on. So yeah. I love it, got such a nice team at the moment, it's lovely. Just giving the spruits a little bedtime water. Uh, this guy has gone to seed and we're gonna need to trim it back. Ali hasn't been eating his cress at a rate that he should have been eating it. And so now we have an abundance of cress. Carrie also said to me earlier that this little guy is a weed in my lemon balm. I'm not having it, how dare she call cool. My sprutlings are weed. This guy is just flourishing. That is that is all I'm going with at the moment. He is flourishing, but saying one of my sprutes is a weed. She's lucky she's my best friend. And over here, we are still, still pots of mud. These guys are doing well. The mint just, I mean, I don't know. I just don't know. So I've planted more mint. We've got more mint in here because there's no drainage in these and I do appreciate that. So we're, we're gonna try with some drainage and see if we can spruit some mint, uh, sage and rosemary, but still, still no spruits yet. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Your daddy's gonna spoil you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Lumi is six years old today. Can you believe it? Oh, granny meow. Little granny meow is six years old. Daddy's got her a new toy. This is the bird. Oh. Little birthday treaties for Lummy Bear. 